All right, now th this is an M2 drive, and this is actually a SATA drive. Now, um, <clears throat> M2 refers to the form factor. You'll notice the size of the drive and the, the actual um, the, the socket on the end or the, or the key or, or whatever you, you would refer to it as. But um, basically, this is, um, this is SATA. So I know it doesn't look like a regular SATA connector, but um, when you, you plug this in, this actually acts as a SATA drive. And um, this is actually, there's, there are other types of M2 drives. Um, the, the, the faster, newer drives are the NVMe drives. And those are going to be faster because they're going to use PCIe lanes. So they're going to use the PCI Express lanes, whereas this is um, not going to use the PCI Express lanes. It's basically SATA. So this is a SATA drive, whereas the NVMe drives are going to use the PCI Express lanes. Now, depending on the, the type of um, whether it's using two or four PCI Express lanes is going to, um, you know, some use two and some use four. Using four, it's going to be faster, but it uses up more lanes. Um, those are going to be the Ultra M2. So an Ultra M2 is just like a, you know, it's a branding, it's, 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 um, like a marketing term for, uh, you know, for a NVMe drive that uses, um, you know, it uses four lanes. So anyways, there's, there's a lot of terminology associated with that. And I made a nice little chart. If you check the link in the description, I'm going to have some links to like the actual drive you could buy on Amazon. And I'm going to have some links to the actual a page that I, I did a little write up on this. So I'm, I'm going to put that link in the description of this video also. But um, yeah, so this is an older, slower, um, it's a SATA drive. So um, you'll notice the the notches in this, the, the little, the keying. You'll notice it has, um, two notches. So it, it, one of these is an M and one of these is a B. So this has both types. So the actual socket that you stick this in is either going to be an M or a B. So it's going to either match one of these or the other. And this one actually has two notches. So it could actually be inserted into, into either one of those. Now, um, the, the, um, the actual um, NVMe drive that I, I, I'm going to be replacing this with an NVMe drive probably tomorrow or the day after. And that's actually going to only have an M slot. So the slots in my motherboard are M. So um, I, th this fits into either a B or an M, whereas um, the, the new drive I'm getting is just an M. So it's only going to have one of these slots. Um, bo both of these drives will fit into the, the, to the same slot on my system board. They actually have two slots on my system board. So um, right, right now I'm using this to run a, a little bit older. I'm running Ubuntu 19.10. So I'm going to, on my new drive, I'm going to install Ubuntu 20.04. And um, I'm going to still probably keep this in the same machine so I could dual boot for a little while just in case. Then I'll probably reuse it for something else. I'm not sure what yet. But um, yeah, so so SATA is basically, um, you know, it just it, it represents how the data is transferred and, and the type of drive it appears as. And it, it's, it uses a SATA connection on the, the system board. It uses like... Um, the, the pathways or, or the, the bus, I, I believe the, the bus, I believe it would be like the SATA bus or whatever, but it, it connects differently in, inside. So it's not using your PCI Express lanes and it's not as fast. So, um, and I'm probably going to have a little diagram as to how that's hooked up on your, on the system board. But, um, you know, if you check the link in the description, but there you have it. So, um, take a close up look at this key. Let me move this really close to the camera. See, note the two notches. And uh, usually you're going to see these. Most of the drives I've seen, and I know there are a lot of exceptions, a lot of different ways things are made, but most of the drives I've seen, like if you get a SATA drive, you're going to have two notches. And if you have, uh, you know, one that's only PCI Express, and usually these days you're going to get the, the four-lane PCI Express. That's all I've noticed. But, um, yeah, ba basically... Uh, yeah, those are going to only have one notch and it's going to be an M notch. So that, that's usually what you're going to end up seeing. Now there's, there's like a whole list of notches. I think it was like A through H and I think they, they left out the letter I for some reason, but you have a whole list of a whole table of notches and some are like for future implementations and stuff. But we're going to put that chart in the, the, on the page that's in the link in the description. And, um, yeah, so, so this, this would not be ultra, obviously not ultra. Um, Ultra M2, but it's, it's still an M2 drive. So it's it's like of, of the three main types of M2 drives, like you would have the you can have a SATA based M2, and you could have like a you you, you could have a um, you know NVMe with a, the two lanes and an NVMe with the the four lanes. The four lanes gets to have the marketing name um, PCI Express, and um, yeah, so like all, all of those types will use the same uh, the same 
connector on the end with different notches depending on what the capabilities are and sometimes you know each type of notch can have multiple capabilities that it uh, available to it and um there, there are other types of notches besides the the m and the b of course there's that whole list i mentioned and there are other devices besides drives that can use the m2 um, form factor like for example you have wi-fi I've mostly just heard about Wi-Fi devices that use this if you want something really slim. Um, but you, you so theoretically, you could have like USB, you can actually run, you can have a device like this that plugs into this type of socket and it's actually a USB device. I don't know if they actually exist, but it's it's possible for it to be created. There, there could be like Bluetooth devices and all sorts of other types of devices that you could plug in. I've only actually, I'm only familiar with there being like uh, SSDs like this and um, Wi-Fi devices that I know of. There's probably others, but in any case, the, the possibility for others is definitely there. So, um, what else should I say? Oh, yeah. So, in the specification, so yes, the specification for M2 allows for different types of notches, so, which are compatible with different types of sockets, and each one has a certain number of protocols and and, and whatnot that it's compatible with, and also. The, the specification specifies different options, just different sizing options. So you're gonna have length, width, and then the thickness. So this actually only has, um, you, you'll see it only has these these chips on the on one side. You could actually have these on the, this side and this side, and there's a certain thickness that, that um, they're allowed to have. And there's like a, a bunch of different options for how thick they could be. There's a bunch of different options for how long this could be and how wide. I believe this is like 80 millimeters long and I forget how many wide, but there, there's a set number that it has to fit. So you, you can get drives this big, you can get drives about this big and drives about this big. And there are other other options that you could have, but usually you're going to see them about half the size or even a quarter of the size. But um, the, the the length of the disc will, you know, the, the longer the disc, the big, bigger the surface area, the more of these uh, these chips you can fit on here, so the more storage space you can have. This one is a terabyte, and um, I believe actually the smaller and larger drives are, are still the same size, but if you get really small, and uh, some of them are, are smaller, but um, anyways, yeah, so this is Samsung, this is the, it's a Samsung 860 Evo, um, SATA M2, VNAND SSD. Um, I like Samsung, so the newer drive I got is also Samsung. No special reason for that. It's not based on benchmarks or anything. It's, well, it's a little bit, but I, I've looked at some, I looked at like the first benchmark that I found. And um, also it's, it had good reviews and I, I just happened to like, like uh, Samsung. So I'm kind of going with my gut there. But um, they are known to produce good um, memory products, like S like um, SD cards for your camera and stuff like that. Um, good hard drives and good uh, good M2 drives. Now, uh, just just to show it, just because I happen to have this drive sitting with me, not a Samsung. This is a much much older SATA drive, SATA SSD that I have. A little bit not related, but yeah, this is what like a traditional SATA connection looks like. So when you think SATA, you're you're normally thinking about this type of connection. One of these is power, one is data. But yeah, when you think SATA, you think something like this. Whereas when you think of uh, you, you know you think of this, you just think of you say, oh yeah, that's M2. Well, really M2 just specifies a whole range of different. It specifies this connector here, and it specifies the form factor, all the different options for sizes you have, and it specifies the M2 specification. You know, specifies all these notches that you, all these different options for notches. But it doesn't say it has to be NVMe. It can also be SATA or USB or any number of other things that are within the M2 specification. So M2 isn't something that's necessary exclusive of SATA, and it's not something that's necessarily. Um, you know, it, it basically it, it includes SATA. Like, like you can you can have a SATA connection as part of um, the M2 specification, if, they, if that um, makes sense the way I'm saying that. But anyways, yeah. So this is this is an M2 drive, not an Ultra M2 drive. Um, in a little bit, I'm probably going to do another video showing an Ultra M2 drive that's coming in. Either it's supposed to come in tomorrow night, so probably tomorrow or the day after, I will likely do a video on my Ultra M2 drive. Which is just you know an MV, NVMe uh, drive that uses four uh, PCIe lanes, so it should be faster. Not that I absolutely need the speed, but it's I may as well. And um, I have two ports, so let me actually pan up to my PC, which is open now. I just took this apart to take this out, but let's see here. Pan up to here, and uh, so this is not going to. 
yeah, let's see here. I, uh, I'm not going to zoom in on this because I'm, I'm actually recording this with an Android phone and it's, I don't know, maybe I will, but all right. So over here you can see I have one socket and this is an M-type socket and then I have another one down here, another M-type socket. Now this system board is the Strix, it's the, the Rep Republic of Gamers Strix Z390-E gaming system board. Um, I'm mostly not using it for gaming, I'm using it for my Linux workstation. I, I mean, I do a little bit of gaming on there, like I have Minecraft installed on it, I have that install, installed on basically every device I own. But um, yeah, basically, and th this thing is in desperate need of dusting, so I'm probably going to maybe do that at the same time. Um, you, you can't really see the fans that well in this video, I don't think. But uh, yeah, there's a fan here, there's a fan up here, there's a couple fans on top that are in the you know the all-in-one water cooling system those really need some dusting but um yeah if you can see actually maybe you can see a little better from this angle but right here yeah so one socket and another one down here those are both m2 sockets so i'm going to be able to put my new and my old m2 drive in at the same time um this is like uh this is a little shield for the m2 drive this one does not have anything on the bottom of it, so I don't know if it's necessarily supposed to work as a heat sink. I think it might be, but I actually just took this one off today. It, it, wasn't, it was covering the spot where the drive could go in, but there wasn't any drive there. I don't think I had taken this off at all, but if you look at it, it has, um, it has this little sticky thing that you could stick to the drive, and I believe this is supposed to act as a, um, as a heat sink. So interesting thing that comes with this system board. But yeah, so that's my system board that I'm going to be installing this on. That's my little, um, yeah, that's about everything I have to say about that. So I'm going to pan back down here. Um, you know, maybe maybe I should go back up there and try to zoom in on, on one of these ports. So let's see. I know like the zoom, it's not an optical zoom. So, you know, it's not ideal. Yeah, so you, you can see here there's like different mounting screws. Like you see all these different mounting screws here that you could mount different size. That's like what I was talking about before. You have different size M2 drives and you could mount, depending on what size, you're going to mount it. So um, like if you take a look at this M2 drive, um, this, this, this end goes into the slot and then this end, you would put a screw into it to, um, yeah, you'd put a screw into this to hold it down. And depending on the size of this, like uh, you would, you know, depending on the size, you would put that into a different, um, like this is the largest you can get. It's like an 80 inch. So this is actually gonna get screwed into the, the furthest out um, mounting thing there. So that that's, uh, and if you have a shorter one, you'd, you'd screw it into the shorter one and, and so on. So there's there's actually three different screws you could screw that into here. And this screw that's, this, this hole that's over here, this is actually for the, the shield or heat sink or whatever it is. Um, so these you would actually mount different size SSDs into and this is the actual socket itself and you see down here there's one notch that's the M type notch so something with a, a B and an M would fit into that so my current SSD fits into that it has B and M notches the new one is only going to have an M and it'll fit into that just fine now um, if we pan up here Here's the other one. This is actually where I had my SSD installed before I took it out a few minutes ago. And same, same deal, same type of notch. I think there are slightly different specifications for the two different notches, or for the two different ports, um, which I'll have to go check. Um, but when, when I was looking at the documentation for the system board, they have two different, um, they have different properties, but um, they're both M type, and I believe they can support all the same, most of the same stuff. They should work with the same drives. Like they both support SATA, and I believe they both support NVMe uh, with four lanes. So that's that. Um, th I think that's actually everything I had to cover with this drive. Now that's everything I had to cover. Let's pan back down here, and um, yeah, there's my there's my card. And all right, so if you found this. Um, if you found this interesting or useful, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you'd like to comment on anything, leave any suggestions, anything else, you know, definitely leave a comment down below. Um, if you want to see more content like this, just uh, subscribe and also click the little bell icon so you get updates when I put out a new video. Um, I do a lot of hardware related content. I'm going to be getting into electronics soon. And like I'll do like how to solder videos, how to build robots with a Raspberry Pi, that kind of thing. But I'm also going to be doing a lot of like Linux tutorials, uh, server tutorials, um, things like like coding tutorials, databases, and, and 
just basically anything technology related. We're going to eventually break out into like 3D printing. We've done a little bit with cryptocurrencies and we're going to do a little bit more in the future. But if any of that stuff sounds like the kind of content you want to see, like I um, just, just check out the channel and see if you like the kind of stuff you see. See if you like the types of videos in my channel history. And if you do like them, definitely subscribe. It'll improve your YouTube feed. So yeah, definitely subscribe and click the little bell icon. Give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down depending on how you feel. And as always, hopefully you enjoyed watching this video.